In a move that could shake the foundation of modern tech, OpenAI has teamed up with legendary Apple designer Joni Ive to create a revolutionary AI-powered device. And it's not a smartphone, a laptop, or even a wearable. With a $6.5 billion acquisition and a clear mission to redefine how we interact with artificial intelligence, this device isn't just an upgrade, it's a total rethink. Built from the ground up with AI at its core, it challenges everything the iPhone represents. Apple knows it too. Their stock dipped the moment this news broke. As Sam Altman put it, this is the coolest piece of technology the world has ever seen. But what exactly is this mysterious new device? And why is it such a threat to Apple's dominance? Let's break it all down. In the ever-evolving world of technology, few collaborations have created as much buzz as the one between Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, and Johnny Ive, the legendary designer behind Apple's most iconic products. This isn't just a partnership. It's a declaration of war on the status quo. Together, they've embarked on a mission to create a brand new category of AI-powered devices. And their first step? A sleek, screenless gadget that could make your iPhone feel outdated. While the tech giants like Apple, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft have been racing to dominate artificial intelligence, OpenAI is taking a different route. One that starts with hardware built from the ground up for AI, unlike smartphones and laptops, which were never truly designed for AI at their core. This new device is being imagined as an extension of your thoughts, contextually aware, screen-free, and seamlessly integrated into daily life. Johnny Ive, known for designing the iPhone and MacBook, calls this the best work our team has ever done. And Sam Altman, he's already using a prototype, calling it the coolest piece of technology the world has ever seen. So what exactly is this device? According to Altman and Ive, it's not a phone, not a wearable, and definitely not another smart speaker. It's a completely new category of AI hardware, something that doesn't just run artificial intelligence, but is designed around it. The product is expected to be pocket-sized, screenless, and equipped with built-in cameras and microphones, allowing it to sense, learn, and respond to your surroundings in real time. This isn't about replacing your current devices outright, it's about augmenting them. The new AI device will work in harmony with your phone, laptop, and other tech, bridging the gap between you and the digital world in a much more intuitive and human way. Instead of typing commands or swiping screens, you'll interact through natural conversation, guided by a device that understands your context, environment, and intent. This shift represents more than just innovation, it's a philosophical redesign of how we use technology. Johnny Ive's influence is clear, design that blends simplicity, intuition, and beauty. Meanwhile, OpenAI is bringing the raw intelligence, transforming ChatGPT from a cloud-based model into a physical extension of your mind. And here's why Apple should be worried. Ive was once the soul of Apple's product vision, working closely with Steve Jobs to shape the very devices we still use today. His departure in 2019 was seen as the end of an era, but now he's back and working with OpenAI, the company many now see as the future of AI. Apple's stock dropped when this announcement hit, and for good reason, this new device could render traditional smartphones obsolete. OpenAI isn't just building a product, they're building the future of interaction. And if they succeed, this small, unassuming device could become the starting point of an entirely new tech revolution. To truly understand the impact of this moment, you need to look at the scale of the move. OpenAI acquired Johnny Ive's AI startup, IO, for $6.5 billion, the largest deal in the company's history. That's not a small investment. It's a bold signal. OpenAI isn't just playing in the software arena anymore. They're coming for the hardware throne too, and here's where the stakes skyrocket. OpenAI now controls the entry point to AI. In the past, AI was accessed through apps and search engines, Gemini, Siri, Alexa. But imagine if you owned the device that people use to access those tools. That changes the game entirely. If this new device becomes the default way people interact with AI, it puts OpenAI in direct control of the user experience, leaving tech giants like Apple and Google on the defensive. Some analysts are already speculating that the current Magnificent Seven of tech stocks could morph into Mog, Meta, OpenAI, and Google. 
pushing Apple out of the equation if it fails to catch up. And with Apple's recent AI delays, including its underwhelming Siri updates and the Vision Pro's lackluster reception, the threat feels very real. What's fascinating is that this new AI device isn't trying to imitate what already exists. It's aiming to leapfrog it. It's designed to make AI feel less like a tool and more like a partner. Whether it's helping scientists become more productive, guiding users through complex tasks, or connecting multiple devices with voice and contextual awareness. This product is built for a future that doesn't rely on screens. Johnny Ive himself described it as a moment where everything he's learned in the past 30 years is coming together. Sam Altman says it's not just the coolest thing he's ever used. It's the beginning of a new era in consumer technology. Yes, there's risk. If OpenAI and I don't deliver, this could go down as a 6.5 billion misfire. But if they succeed, this device could do to the iPhone what the iPhone once did to the BlackBerry, make it irrelevant overnight. We're not just witnessing the launch of a product, we're witnessing a paradigm shift in human technology interaction. And Apple, they're officially on notice. As we stand at the edge of this breakthrough, one thing is crystal clear. OpenAI and Johnny Ive aren't just building a device. They're building the foundation for the next generation of computing. A generation where AI isn't something you access through screens and clicks, but something that exists around you, understands your world, and works with you in real time. The $6.5 billion collaboration marks a turning point. For the first time, artificial intelligence is being paired with world-class design to create a product that feels natural, human, and deeply personal. And while the exact form of the device is still under wraps, its purpose couldn't be louder. To change the way we live, work, think, and connect. For Apple and other tech giants, this isn't just a new competitor. It's a wake-up call. The very designer who helped define Apple's identity for decades is now helping to define what comes after the iPhone. That's not a subtle shift. It's a direct challenge. But this story isn't just about big names or billion-dollar deals. It's about the future of technology and whether we're ready to embrace something completely different, something smarter, simpler, and more seamless. So what do you think? Will this new AI device become the iPhone of the AI era? Is OpenAI about to lead a revolution in hardware the same way it did with ChatGPT and software? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the future of AI, innovation, and the biggest moves in tech, subscribe and turn on notifications. The future's not coming. It's already here.